There's uh, three demonstrations in the user's guide. One is on water sources, our drinking water, our clean water, where does it come from? The other one is on what happens to the dirty water. And the third demonstration is biosolids. You can choose to do them all together or separate demonstrations. Depends on your time limit. The first demonstration here is going to be drinking water treatment. We're going to remove the drinking water treatment building. And we're going to pump water by drawing water into your syringe and filling up section one of the drinking water treatment plant. It may spill over to section two, and that's fine. You're going to also show aeration in the first one as well. By using an empty syringe, you're going to pump air into the first chamber. And the guide goes into more detail on the aeration process and also on the coagulants. Now we're yes. going to add coagulants to section one. Just enough to... Now, and then we're going to take a cotton swab, stir it gently around. Some of it's going to stir over to two, which is fine. That's part of the process. And then pull it out. Hmm. And you can see that it's tinged and the small particles have begun to clump together. That's right. The small ones come together to make larger ones. Right. Now, why don't you add some more water, Erin, with your syringe, to one, section one. And you keep adding the water, and it, it, you'll notice that the, you'll be, no, be able to notice the larger particles are settling to the bottom. And then as, as more water goes through the process, it goes on through the, the filtering process. And our, our cart, cotton ball happens to be our filter here. Now that's nicely, it flows nicely through section three and two. Right. And you then you lift up your filter, mm -hmm. and you can see a tinge of orange, and that's showing the small particles being filtered through. That's right. Now we take our chlorine for the next process and we add a little bit of chlorine to this. And let's um, let's deliver some water. We're delivering water, water to the water tower by removing the sticky tack. The water tower fills up. If it doesn't fill all the way, add some more chlorine to your water tower. Actually, add the chlorine to the chlorine section. In this demonstration, our demonstration, blue water is clean water. Okay. Now, we're going to remove the blue sticky tack from the water tower and deliver water to our city and our homes. Neat. Well, let's take a look underneath the house with the hole. You can see right here, you can even touch the clean water. They have clean water. They have clean water. What about the city area, Erin? Yep, we also have clean water in the city. Exciting. So that's where our water comes from in the city area. What about the rural area? In the rural area, they're on a different system. They have a well, and you remember we filled up the wells underneath, and we're going to use the spray nozzle as our pump at the well. We're going to pump out well water, and this would be a good time to talk about the importance of getting your well um, tested and having clean drinking water. Neat. Now, you can also, there, there, you have two wells provided with it. You can also put it in the well in the agriculture area and spray it on the field. All right. And then you can remove your wells, right? Yep. Great. Great. All right. So that is the sources of drinking water. And again, yes. the guide provides a lot more background information on the processes and, and the difference between groundwater and surface water.